Hello, everyone. Today we're going to be going over the TENS. Uh, the first thing that you need to know is that this is called the oxidation reduction unit, or we shorten it to redox for short. Uh, redox reactions involve the transfer of electrons. So they're a little bit different than our acid base unit, which was really dealing more with the hydrogen ion. Here we're going to be dealing more with the electron. Um, so this is all on your cover. We're going to be using these uh, rules. We actually use these on the fives. So if you were here for the fives, this is nothing new. Uh, but we're going to be assigning oxidation numbers. So I'm assuming you can read from the front page of your unit cover and see what I'm doing as I'm assigning oxidation numbers on the next slide. So some basic rules. Neutral elements have an oxidation number of zero. I'll point that out as I'm going through it. And ions have an oxidation number that is equal to its charge. Uh, we have right here where it says reduction is a reduction in oxidation number. So that's going to help us figure out what are reduction reactions. And oxidation reactions, they have an increase in oxidation number. This is also on your uh, unit pack cover and also on your periodic table, the whole thing called oil rig where oxidation is the loss of electrons and reduction is the gain of electrons. Remember, electrons are negatively charged. So if you're adding on electrons, you're gaining some negative charge. So here we go. We're going to go through the front side. Uh, so here we have aluminum. It's oxidation number zero. We take that right off the cover. It is an element. It's all by itself. It doesn't have a charge with it. So it's considered a neutral element. So it gets the oxidation number of zero. And any ion gets an oxidation number that's equal to its charge. Okay. So the first question that we have here is electrons, are they gained or lost? Well, this aluminum right here, as it turns into these aluminum ions, did this aluminum right here gain three electrons to become the aluminum ions, or did it lose three electrons? And the answer is this aluminum lost three electrons to turn into aluminum ions, and these are the electrons that were lost. So electrons were lost. Now, is this an oxidation or a reduction? Well, we're always referring to the reactants here. So what we're really asking is, was this aluminum, was it oxidized, or was this aluminum reduced? Well, oxidation is the loss of electrons, so oil. Oxidation is the loss of electrons, so this is an oxidation reaction. And quite honestly, metals, when they turn into ions, that's considered oxidation. If you think about your car, if your car is rusting, your car is turning from iron metal into iron ions, and they have to be the two positive or the three positive ions, and then those ions wash away and your car becomes lighter over time. So metals oxidize, they end up turning into ions. Our oxidation number went from a zero to a three positive. So that's what happened in this problem. So our oxidation number increased. And where are the electrons found? The electrons are found over on the product side. Um, these bits of information that we're going over right here, they come into play in the upcoming worksheets that we do. So we're just trying to get some general information. And this is probably the biggest one, that electrons are found over on the product side in an oxidation because those electrons are, in fact, lost. So we go to this one. we got to put oxidation numbers again. Those rules are found right on your cover. And again, we did these on the fives. So neutral element, zero. Electrons, nothing happens with that. And this has a two negative charge. So we're now we're talking about, does this sulfur, does it gain these two electrons? Or does this sulfur lose two electrons? And if you see the positive sign right there, the addition sign, these electrons are being added into the sulfur. So these electrons are, in fact, gained. Is this an oxidation or a reduction? Well, oil rig, rig part, is reduction is the gain of electrons. So this sulfur right here did, in fact, gain these two electrons. They were added in. That positive sign, that addition sign, mentions that. So this is a reduction reaction. We went from a 0 to a 2 negative. That is a decrease in oxidation number, or better yet, a reduction in oxidation number. 
And that's one of the key things that you're going to see in reduction reactions is that the oxidation number is reduced. And that's the key part. And let me clean all this up for you. Where are the electrons found? The electrons are found over here on the reactant side. And again, these are things that we're going to be using uh, in the upcoming future on more worksheets. We're going to do one more, and then I'm just going to give you the answers. I'm going to hope that you're going to work through everything and then check against your answers and not just copy down everything. So this oxygen... Its oxidation number is a 2 minus, 2 negative, because of the charge that's there. This is 0. So our electrons gained or lost by this O2 negative. Well, you can see the electrons right here. So as we go from O2 negative to O2, these electrons come out, and these electrons are lost. So O2 negative was oxidized because again oil oxidation is loss of electrons the oxidation number goes from a two negative over to a zero that's an increase in oxidation number and our electrons are found over on the product side so again i'm going to show you the answers to all of them but i'm hoping that you're going to do all the problems and then compare or do a problem and then compare uh, not just copy down all the answers because that will not help you in the future. So here's all the problems that you're going to do. And there's the sulfur. Feel free to pause the video at any point in time. There's the one we just did. There's the next one. Again, pause the video at any time you need to. The next one, and what I want you to be seeing is that every time we have a reduction half reaction, reduction, that it's on the reactant side. That's kind of the key point to what we're doing in this unit. Calcium, and that is the last one. Again, you can pause the video if you need more time or rewind it if you need to do so. All right, so in a reduction reaction, how does the oxidation change from the reactant side to the product side? So if we have a two positive on the reactant side and over on this side, it goes to zero. That's always going to be a reduction in oxidation number, and that means we have a reduction reaction. Oxidation number is reduced as you go from the reactant side to the product side. All right, so elements that are oxidized or reduced always need to be reactants. So when we're going to be filling out the back side of your sheet now, um, everything's going to come from the reactant side. Oxidizing agents, reducing agents are also from the reactant side. So everything comes from the reactant side. Nothing's going to come from the product side. This, again, we've already mentioned. It's going to come in handy as we're doing this. And an oxidation reaction occurs, a reduction must occur. So it's kind of a yin and yang effect. If an oxidation occurs where we lose electrons, there needs to be something there to gain the electrons, and that's the reduction half reaction. So in other words, both of these must occur. You can't just have one without the other. All right, so this is the one uh, on the back side uh, that's been done for you as an example. This is kind of what we need you to do. So for grading this, we're talking about 12 points per cell for doing all of this work right here. And we're going to mimic that work with the next problem. So we go, and the first thing that we do is we assign oxidation numbers. Three positive, a zero, a zero, a three positive. Again, information from the fives that we did. We look at this, and we say, which element uh, from the reactant side, from this side over here, uh, is reduced in oxidation number? Well. Aluminum goes from a zero to a three positive. That's not an oxidate, or that's not a reduction in oxidation number. So let's try the other one. Iron three positive goes to zero. That is a reduction in oxidation number. And then we write RED down here by this bracket for reduction, and it's rig. Reduction is the gain of electrons, so we write gain. 
And how many electrons do we have to gain to go from a three positive to a zero? We must have gained three electrons to go from a three positive to a zero. So we always do the reduction on the bottom. We always do that first. And then we do the oxidation. So the other one that changes, it goes from a zero to a three positive. That's an oxidation. Uh, oxidation oil. Oxidation is the loss of electrons. So we're losing or lost, however you want to go about it. And how many electrons? That is three electrons as well. All right, so that's the first part that you have to set up, right? In brackets uh, to our half reactions. Now, what item was oxidized? If we did a good job with our brackets, it's not too hard. The aluminum was oxidized. What item was reduced? Well, if we did a good job with our brackets right here, the Fe3 positive was reduced in oxidation number. Now, this is the part that gets a little heavy as far as the information goes. The oxidizing agent. What item caused the oxidized element to lose electrons? Okay, so the aluminum is oxidized. This iron right here, needing to gain three electrons, caused this aluminum to be oxidized. So the Fe3 positive is called the oxidizing agent. What caused the aluminum to lose electrons? That would be the Fe3 positive ions cause that. The reducing agent. What item causes the reduced element to gain electrons? So again, this iron is reduced and turned into iron, uh, iron metal, and it needs to gain some electrons. What forced it to gain electrons? Well, this aluminum losing electrons forced these iron ions to take on the electrons and become iron solid. So the aluminum force the iron ions to gain electrons. So the aluminum is considered the reducing agent. We'll do one more together. So here we go three positive, we go zero, we go zero, we go three positive. Remember you can pause the video at any time. So that's our first step. Our second step is we identify what element from the left side going to the right side uh, is decreased or reduced in oxidation number. And we have our gold ions right here going to gold metal. We're going from a three positive to a zero. So that is a reduction in oxidation number. Remember reduction, R-I-G, reduction is the gain. So gain and to go from a three positive to a zero, that's three electrons. The iron, therefore, since it changes oxidation number, must be the one that's oxidized. So we go oxidation. And remember, oil, oxidation is the loss of electrons. So lose or lost, however you want to go about it, three electrons. So if we did a good job with our brackets, we can easily fill in these four boxes. What element was oxidized? Well, right here, this is where it starts. So these would be oxidized. And what is reduced? Well, if we did a good job with our brackets, the gold ions are reduced. You're noticing everything is coming from the reactant side, the left side, nothing's coming from the right side. Oxidizing agent. What caused the oxidized element to lose electrons? So again, this is what's oxidized. These gold ions forced it because the gold ions need to gain electrons. So the gold ions are the oxidizing agent. What's the reducing agent? Well, these gold ions right here, they are reduced. Well, it's this iron right up here that needs to lose electrons that forces these gold ions to gain electrons. This iron right here forces the gold ions to gain electrons, and therefore the iron is considered the reducing agent. So I'm going to show you the rest of the answers, but I want you to do a problem, check the answers, pause the video, uh, do pause the video, do another problem, and then check your answers. So there is the one that we just went through, and the one below it. You can pause the video anytime you need to do so. Check your work. Here's the next two. Again, pause the video at any time to check your work. 
All you're doing is writing down the answers uh, that will make life a little bit more difficult on you uh, in the future. And there's finally the last one. So pause the video as you need to, rewind the video as you need to, and this will lead to skills that we will use on future worksheets. Have a good day.